Hello, boys and girls, and thank you for stopping by at the Academy Kids. This is Mr. G, and for this video, we will be exploring number patterns. If you watched some of the previous videos, uh, we've been talking about patterns and the different types of patterns. We dealt with repeating patterns, which have numbers in the pattern that repeat themselves, and that part that repeats itself is called the core. We had growing patterns, which are just patterns that get bigger in a predictable way. So you always add the same number over and over again to find out your next. And finally, shrinking pattern, which is a pattern that gets smaller because we're always subtracting the same number and it gets smaller and smaller. So here we go with this question here in this video. And this question asks us to describe each pattern. So have a look to see if it's repeating if it's a growing pattern or if it's a shrinking pattern what is the pattern rule and remember how important it is to be able to describe these patterns using words and then write the next three terms for each pattern and which ones have a core so we're gonna find out to see if any ones have a core and if they have a core that means it's a repeating pattern so here we go I'm gonna add a text box here boys and girls have a look at our patterns while I do this and here we go our first one perfect all right boys and girls here's our first pattern three six nine twelve so if we have a look at that let's describe this pattern it's definitely a growing pattern so I'm gonna whoops it's a growing pattern okay because it's increasing all the time and it's increasing by how much so if we look at it we start at three let's write that down because we know that part of the pattern starts at three and what do we notice what do we add to get six and then what do we add to that to get nine and what do we get how do we what do we add to get twelve that's right so we add three each time and that's our pattern rule boys and girls start at three and add three each time so now that we know that we can write down the next three terms so we have three six nine twelve so we add three each time our pattern would be fifteen that's right eighteen and finally twenty one because we only need three but if we had to keep going we can go on and on and yes the next number would be twenty four and it's just that simple boys and girls we've recognized it's a growing pattern it starts at three add three each time and that is our pattern rule because that'll happen no matter how far we go and the numbers how big they get and how far we want to go with this pattern it'll always be add three each time so here we go let's start with our next one since you did that easy enough we get our text box here good so our pattern here seven six five and then seven six five so boys and girls what do we find here with this pattern do we recognize anything in this pattern what kind of pattern is it that's right we do have a repeating pattern so we're gonna put that in here first so we describe it repeating pattern and how do we know that what do we see that gives it makes it a repeating pattern seven six five seven six five so our first three terms seven six five are what we call our core because that's what repeats itself over and over again so that's the smallest part of the pattern that repeats itself so the next three terms if it's a repeating pattern and we see our core our next three terms boys and girls you guessed it seven six five and that can go on and on and on why it doesn't shrink it doesn't grow it just repeats itself and that's why it is a repeating pattern excellent work here we go one last one for you boys and girls this is way too easy for you mr g's got to come up with some more challenging questions because this is too easy. All right, so here we go. 84, 77, 70, and 63. What do we notice so far about this pattern? Even before we think about the next number, it's going down. The numbers are lower. Every number gets smaller and smaller. So what do we call that pattern? That's right. It is a shrinking pattern perfect so we have a shrinking pattern so 
let's see here. What is our rule? We know automatically we put that start at the number 84. Perfect. So what happens to get to 77? That happens when it gets to 70 and it happens again at 63. 84 to 77. That's subtract. We know it's shrinking, so it's subtract. 7. Good. Each time. So, boys and girls, that's what we have there. You start at 84, subtract 7 each time, and that's what we call our pattern rule. And now, finally, for the most exciting part, now that we know it's shrinking, it gets smaller. And because it's always subtracting 7 each time, so it's predictable, we know what happens next. So, start at 84, subtract 7. So, if we subtract 7 from 63, we get... 56, good. So shrinking, we're going down again to 49. And the last one, 42, boys and girls. So our pattern now, our last three numbers, 56, 49, 42. And that goes all the way until we get close to zero. And if you have to guess the next number, that's right, it would be 35 because you know to subtract 7 once again. So boys and girls, we had a question that fit each one of our patterns. One was a growing pattern, one was repeating because it had a core. So we found our core and then our next three digits. And finally, a shrinking pattern. Boys and girls, well done once again. This is Mr. G signing out. Any, there are more videos that you can watch and exploring these number patterns. Be able to describe them and use a pattern rule to describe them. Well done. We'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.